Hi, I hope you're enjoying getting ready for flow painting and preparing your materials. In this video, I want to show you how to prepare your paper. I want to stress that it's really important that you have paper that is thick enough to contain and hold and support layers and layers of paint, because that's what we'll be working with. Also, a lot of moisture and water. You might choose to work with a spray bottle, which uh, has water in it, so you might be spraying your paper, and that will make the, point, the paper very moist. If you've ever done watercolour paper, you'll notice that we stretch the watercolour paper, or otherwise you work with very thick watercolour paper so that it doesn't buckle as you paint it. So the paper that you choose to work with is important, just so that it's thick enough to hold what you are working on. A little note here is that um, you can get very thick watercolour paper, but it's going to be very expensive and it's also very hard to find. So I just use very cheap uh, paper. This is just like a board. It's just like a cheap board from uh, the printer down the road and it's less than a dollar. And I just went in and asked them, like, have you got some thick board, poster board stuff? I didn't even know what to call it. And they just knew, showed me a couple of samples. And I said, yes, please, I'll take that. And I ordered 30 at a time because my dear husband uses um, a lot of them to do his paintings. I'll just tell you a little story quickly. He actually started painting only two years ago when he first did one of my flow painting um, courses with me. Um, he was a photographer and the flow painting, he had such an incredible experience with it and he really started love working with the paint um, and he started making his own work. So he now has got an, a pile of 87 pieces of paper like this and, uh, and growing. <laughs> so flow painting can actually really transform your experience of creativity and paint. That said, let me, that's an aside, let me show you what we're gonna do here. Um, I've already started stretching this piece and what you do is you just take the masking tape or the blue scotch tape, which we get in the States here, and um, stick it along a, a, a centimeter in from your edge along the board or on the wall or wherever you're working so that you can just see how it you'll, you'll see how it contains it and uh, will secure the paper so that it doesn't buckle now what it does do as well is that it gives you a little bit of a border and an edge i want you to remember though that we are not painting to have an outcome right we are not painting for the product. However, I have had some clients who have done this, many actually, who have loved their painting so much at the end and they've been so in awe of what they can create. And they've taken it home and their families have said, oh, we love that as well. Let's frame it and put it on our wall. So it's been really nice for them to have a border. Um, as you can see, this one doesn't have four borders because my board is actually not big enough to contain a full piece of paper. But... Um, the aim is not to have the output and not to have the, end, the painting end result to, to hang on your wall. But it can happen and then you'll have a nice little frame. But it can also be, of course, hung up if you don't have a frame. So I've just given you ideas here of what you can work with and what works if you've got um, it's kind of softer paper to not let it buckle. I want to mention also that you can be working in a sketchbook, all right, as long as it's a multimedia sketchbook that has thick paper in it, made for all sorts of mediums, especially moisture like ink and painting. What will happen with this though, is that it will wrinkle and buckle a little bit like this, but that's not important because, you know, we're not painting for the product, right? Uh, we're painting for the process. So let your intuition guide you and uh, work with whatever you have and just make sure that your paper contains the amount of paint that you want to be putting onto it for um, a good seven hours of painting. All right, enjoy your flow painting preparations and I'll see you very soon.